Taurus, as I was stating, this is part two. Um, as I was stating, uh, if you're not taking a plane or a train or driving by car or whatever it may be, um, you are definitely, definitely going to see this person in March that you haven't seen in a very long time. But there's obstacles in the way. Because this person might not be telling you where they live. This person not, might not be telling you shit that they're doing. Okay? But they are definitely doing shit they ain't got no business doing, Taurus. I'm telling you right now. Cheating, lying, conniving. The person that they're dealing with does not know nothing about you. You can guarantee that. They know nothing about you. Because you want to know why? They're dating. They're dating other people. I'm telling you, they're very promiscuous. They are dating other people and they've been lying to you. Even if you have talked to them, they're lying. Believe that. But karma's going to get them. Karma is going to get them in a way that you think that karma's never got them. Karma's going to get them for lying to you because you've been truthful with them. You've been talking to them and they're steady lying to you and not telling you the truth. But they love you though, right? So, some of you men are dealing with a younger female. Taurus men, you're dealing with a younger female. And some of you men are dealing with... Um, a younger female that is uh, brunette or got red hair, burgundy hair, red hair. And she's younger. A lot of you are just sitting around because you're waiting for communication from this ex of yours, this person that you truly care about. You're just sitting around and waiting. Okay? Then a lot of you are dealing with an older Taurus Virgo Capricorn. You're dealing with a older male some of you and then some of you women are dealing with a younger male dark skin and this person is the past love that you're dealing with you used to have fun times with them but right now Taurus you're going through a spiritual growth period okay a lot of you females are older than the person that you're dealing with an ex from the past they are younger yep He's a younger man, Taurus females, that you're dealing with because you had a past life with them. You had a friendship with them, but also the person that you're dealing with now, Taurus, has about four men or four women. They have a lot of friends that they're sleeping with, that they're seeing. And yes, they are in a triangle over you, Taurus, because they're thinking, who should I be? There's two women that this, if you're a female dealing with another sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be any sign. He's got two women, you and someone else that he's trying to choose from. He tells you that he loves you, but he's not spending any time with you. He's spending time with her. If this is a man, um, if this is a woman dealing with two men, she's thinking, who do I pick? But she's definitely spending more time with somebody than she's spending time with you because she's not spending no time with you and he's not spending no time with you. There's a lack of communication. They call you when they want to. You sit by the phone. You wait by the phone. There's no communication. No communication at all. Total bitch. But you definitely got a true love coming in in 2020. Um, you miss the passion you had with this person. But then the universe wants you to know it's safe for you to love again also. But Taurus, you guys are forgetting you have to love yourself first. Before you can love anybody else, you have to love yourself. Okay? You have to love yourself. And that's something that Tauruses have a lack of doing sometimes. You put other people before you and you shouldn't do that. You've had a past life with this person. That's why you feel so strongly connected to them. And they are a soulmate of yours. That's why you feel so connected to them, Taurus. And, the, and that person is the one for you. But what are they showing you? Sometimes they communicate. Sometimes they don't. You could call their phone. It could be off all the time. If a man's phone is off all the time, Taurus females and males to the females, 
there's someone else. Because if they were totally single, the phone would be on constantly. Okay? If the phone is off constantly and they only call you on their time, they're either married or they're dealing with someone else. If you, if you can't call their house, they're married. If their phone is off at night, Taurus, they're married or they're living with someone. If they only call you when they're out and about, that's because they're away from this person, Taurus. Okay? Remember that. If you do not know where they live, they are married or living with someone, Taurus. Does it make sense to you? So, Taurus, uh, make sure you get all your information together. I will tell you this, Taurus. Everybody's shit is coming out this year in 2020. If you haven't been exposed, like I tell every sign, you're going to be exposed this year. So, this person that you're dealing with, their shit is going to be exposed to you. You're going to find out. If I was you, Taurus, and you're on their Facebook or Instagram, whatever, and you see certain females on their profile or certain males, I definitely would start writing them and start finding out who these females are, especially if they live, if you know your partner's in a certain city and these females are in that same city, I would start writing them and finding out who they are. How do they know them? Don't be nasty. Don't be rude. Just be nice. But I definitely would find out if they're in the same city, how do they know this person that you're with? Because it could be one of the people that they're sleeping with or that they're with, and they know nothing about you. So that's how women find out things. So you have to start looking. If you really care, you have to start looking. Now, if you don't give a damn, you're not going to do any searching. But remember, when you look for shit, you'll find it. Okay, Taurus? So God bless you. This is Born With A Veil. If you'd like a reading, call me at 313-401-3707. You can write me at bornwithavail at yahoo.com. God bless.